Hey, Pastor Ray Barnett here with you. Glad that you could be with me here on the Oasis. And as always, I wish you a good morning, good afternoon, or a good evening, depending on what time you're watching this broadcast. Today is July the 30th. It's Saturday evening, and I'm here on uh, or at the, uh, the Ponderosa, our home. I had a beautiful spot picked out today, <clears throat> and it was a beautiful day. You know, this summer, has been a lot like fall in the sense that the days are really warm. It's hit 90s, 80s, 85. But at night, it's like low humidity, beautiful, just perfect. Anyway, I had this beautiful spot down by the Mohawk River where I, I've been this week a couple times and go fairly frequently. And um, <laughs> this massive, yacht well it was big anyway <laughs> pulled up right next to me and docked so i said well you know let me uh me see if i can get this done later which is what i'm doing now so welcome to my home it's been a while since we've been here i'd show you around but just not in the right position to to do so one of these days i gotta show you my my dog buddy he's there Right on the other side of this camera, not too far away. <clears throat> okay, and I hope that they don't start barking at all the birds, squirrels, rabbits, and everything else that's around. I thought to uh, talk to you tonight just for a little bit. Um, this is what I tell people, and it certainly has applied to my life for my wife as well. Um, I tell people sometimes when you know they're in a funk and they're down. I worried or whatever, and they start to talk philosophically, you know. Why can't we this? I mean, why can't our country this? And why don't people? And whatever. You've said it, I've said it, we've all said it. And I always tell people to accept life as it is, not as um, you wish it would be or the way you think it should be. Now, fortunately, we have what, what the Bible calls exceeding great and precious promises in, uh, in the future for us, right? The Bible is prophet, uh, prophetic about a third of the Bible, a quarter of the Bible uh, is announcing the future. Much of it has already been fulfilled, but not all of it. And we have a lot to look forward to with the coming of Christ. But putting that aside for a moment, we have to, if you want to be content, or at least achieve some degree of contentment. You have to accept life the way it is and not the way you wish it would be or the way you think it, I think it should be. Thought just came in my head, 45 years I've been a preacher. I began preaching the very first year I, I was born again and uh, dedicated my life to Christ. And, you know, both biblically and otherwise, I had expectations in the church uh, from past pastors, leaders, and people, and what have you. And, um, of course, I was very uh, young in the Lord and very naive. And uh, it, it never really worked out, uh, you know, the way the instructions are written in the New Testament, in the Bible in general, and uh, the way it's actually played out in life. And I've... I don't know if I've said this to you, but I've said it in my preaching. I uh, told a friend of mine last night, I said, you know, I could really make a good case against Christianity. I'm not going to. Because I've been very blessed to know Christ. Like the Apostle Paul said, um, I have known whom I believed. And there, is a, there, was a, there was and there still is a wide gap between what the Bible says to do and what people who profess or carry Bibles or read them or go to church, uh, what they actually do. So I decided somewhere along the way that I was kind of done with all that and I was just going to, you know, live my life for the Lord and just do the best I could to help the people like Pastor and people like you. Because um, there was a big discrepancy between what's written and what's actually performed. So what I'm saying in respect to that and tonight's topic is the fact that 
I began to just realize and to accept a the church the way it actually is and not the way uh, it's, it's supposed to be and then B life in general when uh, things come into my life and uh, honestly uh, not all of it is, is very pleasant um, I I just say to myself okay well I'm going to embrace this I don't know uh, isolation or the loneliness or eh, whatever it may be and and let it become my teacher what, what's this going to teach me you know if you had a, a workout routine a physical fitness routine that you say man I, I just do this easy well you're probably not really exercising there's a difference between recreation you know you go out and you play let's say basketball and you know you do that on a regular basis and you have fun at it and that's not really exercise I mean if you get technical about it now you say but hey I'm in great shape because I play basketball three times a week or five days a week um, and it's true but, but what, I'm, what I'm saying is that recreation real exercise to really you know get in shape whether you're building muscle mass or your cardiovascular system is is hard work okay so that's uh that's the reality and life is hard work you know when you follow Christ uh, so many times he exhorts us excuse me he exhorts us to pick up our cross deny ourselves and so on and that's that's the actual Christian way it's Christ's way um, and so now you have to accept Christ as he is not as you think he should be not as what you want him to be we cannot Americanize him or whatever country you're watching from you can't make him to be uh, like you he's Christ he's Jesus he, we follow him he doesn't follow us he converts us we don't convert him well life in general <clears throat> is is pretty much the way I see it is that way it's accepting life as it is now don't get me wrong when you have a situation in your life anxiety depression is the topic here on this channel uh, and it can be changed and by all means change it that's what we're trying to do here trying to accomplish but there are certain things in life uh, wars and rumors of wars and things that are happening in, in the in the world that we simply cannot change I'm very um, particular about how much not what I read in the news but how much of it I read sometimes the headline alone tells me all I need to know maybe not you but all I need to know all right this is what's going on here and there and whatever and I've learned to accept life the way it is not the way I thought it would be in the past not the way I wish it would be not the way that I think it should be I accept life uh, the way it is and then we have this axiom that I've given to you uh, several times over the last two years um, attributed to the Marine Corps but you know a lot of people use it you learn to improvise and then you adapt and then you overcome so life presents us with a lot of situations where we have to now say this isn't the way I planned it this is the way I didn't I didn't think it was going to go this way so now you have to be ready to convert you know adapt to the situation and then in the spirit of Christ by the word of God to overcome it this is uh, I'll say a secret to life again let me emphasize this there's uh, there's um, many things in your life you can change I'm not talking about being fatalistic or deterministic there's many things uh, that I could have changed in the past and I didn't there's things that are going on in my life right now that I'm actively changing in my personal life and because I have the power to change it so I'm not talking about that I'm talking about the big picture it could be in your marriage, it could be just in your home, it could be in your business, it could be a lot of things that this is just the way it is. I think specifically I would mention the fact that this is how human beings are. Some are really good and they're loyal, some are not so good and they're not, lo not loyal and, and so on. We have a lot of things in the world to uh, worry about, but there's an old saying, why worry when you can pray? And this is the secret to the continual aim of this broadcast which is peace bringing peace inside you inner peace Christ peace 
The secret is to say, this is what it is. Uh, we, my wife and I, we had this small little issue last night with a, a brand new motor on the pool, right? <laughs> and uh, she was the one that said it. She said, you know, why can't anything be easy? You know? I said, I, I know what you're saying. I, I know what you're saying. Said, Every, everything that's supposed to be easy just turns out to be... I have, a, I have my own little maxim if you're interested in it. Whenever my wife would say, it's just a small job, I would always say, and I've said to many friends of mine, I said, there is no such thing as a small job. Everything, you know, you want to change a like ground fault indicator, GFI. And then you open it up and then there's something else inside the wall, then all of a sudden... A, 15 minute job turns into two hours. Um, I say it a bit tongue in cheek, but that's been my experience. Every time you go involved in one thing, it opens up into more things. There is no such thing as a small job. It always turns out to be some big job. Anyway, if you want to be at peace, begin to accept life the way it is at the moment and adapt to that so that you overcome. I don't mean give in to it. I'm talking about adapt with the idea of overcoming it, embracing the thing that the situation that you're in, the problems that you have, looking for solutions, looking for answers, working on them actively. That's the overcoming part. But generally speaking, there is um, a lot of things in this world uh, that we cannot change. Remember, like they have this in all the Alcoholics Anonymous and Narcotics Anonymous. The prayer attributed to St. Francis, Lord, um, grant me the serenity, it's called the serenity prayer, grant me the serenity to accept the things that cannot change, The um, grant me the serenity to accept things I cannot change, uh, to change the things I can, and to, and the wisdom to know the difference. That's, I mean, it's a great prayer. It really is. So short and it's really, really great. Some things you cannot change. The weather would be one. Can't change the weather. So accept it. Then there's something over here that says, you know what, this could be changed. And then you change it. Then you have to have the wisdom to know which is something you can change and what is something that you can't change. Let me tell you, uh, your nervous symptoms can be overcome, thankfully. You say, well, Pastor, I'm in a really bad way, and you don't know the suffering that I've had. Perhaps not, but I know the suffering that I've had, and my attitude has been, still is, so I'm not giving in to this. I'm going to find a way, and then through prayer, meditation, and the almost half a century of Bible readings, I just review them in my head. I always find there's, there's the way, and, and you move in it. Let me just uh, end uh, tonight. Uh, again, this is Saturday night services in the morning uh, for those of you who, by the way who are interested in the preaching the Sunday sermons you can find them here on YouTube at the time for truth ministries just put in my name the time for truth ministries you'll come up with the uh, the uh, YouTube channel we use for Sunday morning services and there's a large archive of messages there <clears throat> but um, I saw this young guy today I haven't seen him in a few years I remember once saying to him something about working out in the gym and he is a bodybuilder. And um, I remember him just snapping at me. And there's no doubt it's from the steroids he's on. Snapping at me, he says, bodybuilding is my life. I've been working out for 58 years. I thought to myself, if this was all I had, wow, it wouldn't be much of a life. Anyway, I saw him again today. I hadn't seen him in a few years. And you can see in his face the change the steroids have made and uh, it's kind of a look that you've heard about roid rage, almost like the road rage I have out here. Um, by the way, when we first moved here, it was, it was so quiet, it was unbelievable. So the world's changing. I have to accept that. I don't know what else I can do to change that. So I got to say, you know what, calm down. You got to accept that. Anyway, so you, I'm looking into this kid's face and... Um, you know, I just, there was compassion, really. I said, Man, how lost he is, you know? What I'm trying to say is, you know, accept life the way it is, not the way you think it should have been or should be or wished it were, but that's just wasted energy, wasted mental energy, and, and just a waste of time. 
accept life the way it is, then change the things that you can change. And remember this, I just told you, I'm going to say it again. Your nervous symptoms, your anxieties, your depressions, they can be overcome. And that's the whole aim of this broadcast. All right, I just thought I would bring that little exhortation to you tonight. Um, accept life the way it is, not the way you wish it would be, and so on. Let me pray for you. Oh, my dog starts to bark. So, Father God, I just pray for my friends. I ask you to touch them and to help them and to bless them and to keep giving them the strength and the fortitude and the will to overcome their fears, anxieties, depressions, and whatever else may be trouble them. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Hey, you know what? I wish you could feel the temperature here. It's just great. It's beautiful. Birds are flying. I saw an eagle the other night coming over the house. Um, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. Hit the notification button. And uh, God willing, I won't be here with you tomorrow on the Oasis, but I will be preaching. Again, that's Time for Truth Ministries right here on YouTube. And um, if you don't watch the sermons, <laughs> you do watch these. God willing, I'll be with you again uh, on a Monday right here on the Oasis. So God bless. The peace of Christ be with you till I see you again. God bless.